Hello, everybody, and welcome to Student Spotlight this week. I am so excited to have this young gentleman before us. What is your name, good sir? Dustin. Hi, Dustin. And whose class are you in? Mr. Andres. Which means you're in third grade. What is your favorite part of third grade so far? Uh, reading. Reading. What's your favorite book? Harry Potter. Harry series. Potter. Oh, the Harry Potter series. Any anyone specifically? Um, I think I like the Chamber of Secrets best right now, but the movie I like Prisoner of Azkaban. Ooh, yeah, I've seen all the movies. I haven't caught up with the books, but they're all very, very intriguing. I like them a lot. I'm what do you like best? I see the fourth and all those. I'm only allowed to see one, two, three. Mm, yeah, because does it get a little scary? Little too scary. Um, well, that's cool. So you like reading now. I know you like to do lots of other things. Like, what are you going to show us today? Drawing a bucock. What is a bucock? It's a make-believe animal that some are shapeshifters and some can only shapeshift into um, certain things and there's different types. And today I'm going to draw a tech type. Ooh. Which can only turn into mechanical things. Wow. Now, did you make that up all on your own, or did you see it in, like, a book or a movie or something? No, I made it up. Whoa, that sounds amazing. That sounds very, very, very cool. I can't wait to see what it looks like. I just made up the tech bucock. Well, it made one of it. Yesterday or the day before. Wow. Very cool. How innovative of you. Well, are you ready to teach us all how to draw a bucock? Yeah! Yeah, all right, let's get to it. I got that sunshine in my pocket. Got that good soul in my feet. I feel that hot blood in my body when it drops. Ooh, I can't take my eyes off of it. Moving so phenomenally. You more like the way we rock it. So don't stop. And under the lights when everything goes. Nowhere to hide when I'm getting you close. When we move. When you dance, dance, dance Feel a good, good creeping up on you So just dance, dance, dance Come on, all those things I shouldn't do But you dance, dance, dance And ain't nobody leaving soon So keep dancing Alright, final product There it is Wow, what a perfect drawing in time for Halloween. He kind of looks a little creepy, but he's kind of got the Harry Potter, um, what was it called, broomstick, and you said he's a tech guy, so I see the little computer up there. He's got kind of creepy arms, oh my goodness, and legs. That is so creative, and you made that up all by yourself, Dustin? Yes. That is so cool. So people could come up with their own creatures, um, or they could put their own accessories with um, their different characters, right? Mm -hmm. And you can use all sorts of different colors. Wait, what's his name? Pete. Pete. Oh, yes, we have to make sure that his name is on there. That's awesome, Dustin. Cool. Well, now I'm so excited. I bet everyone will want to make their own creations, whether it's a different type of bucock or maybe another Halloween character from, from your own mind. But Dustin, thank you so much for being on Student Spotlight and for inspiring us to create our own creatures. What noise does a bucock make? Well, on that note, have a great weekend, everyone. Bye. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Student Spotlight. I'm so excited for a fourth grader today. Um, would you like to introduce yourself? What is your name? I'm Kira. Hi, Kira. And whose class are you in? Miss Gunter. Miss Gunter, awesome. What do you like most about the fourth grade so far? Um, you get to learn a lot of new stuff that you never really got to learn in like second and third grade. Yeah, absolutely. You're always learning something new, but I think especially in fourth grade, they really try and jam pack your brain with all sorts of new things. How fun. Um, so Kira, I know that you like to do lots of lots of things, like I know you love to dance, is that right? Yes. Um, but what are you going to be showing us today? I'm going to make abstract art. Abstract art, what does that mean? It means like art that doesn't really have a meaning, it's just kind of like random, like you throw your brush onto the um, paper. Ooh, very cool. Where did you learn how to do abstract art? I'm just kind of like, one day I just wanted to 
do something a little bit different. So I just started throwing my brush around, <laughs> and I just like, hmm, this looks like abstract. That's awesome, and I bet it turned out to just be like a really cool work of art. Huh, I love that. Um, and you get to do some of that probably in art class too, right? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's amazing. Now, why do you like to why do you like to paint? Why do you like to draw? Because it's um, it's calming, mm. and you can basically do it whenever you want to. You just have to have a paintbrush, water, and paint. Yeah, no, I absolutely I can connect with that a lot. I think painting or drawing it's so soothing and kind of calming to just sit down and draw and let your imagination take over, right? And there's no right answers. It's just whatever you make it to be. That is so cool. I love that about art. Um, well, Kira, I am so excited to see uh, your abstract art, what you're going to showcase us um, for today. So shall we get started? Mm -hmm. Awesome. All right, let's go. I love that you got to use so many different colors in it. And like you said, abstract means your paintbrush can do anything, right? It can make any sort of shapes like that. I see you made lots of different shapes and just kind of, what were you thinking when, when you were drawing it or painting it? I kind of like just making, I like making waves with it because mm -hmm. I think that it just kind of, looks cool like different shaped waves yeah. and it our doesn't waves even have to be like this it can be like this yeah. and our waves kind of calming too yes. yeah absolutely Kira oh my gosh I feel more peaceful just looking at that that is so beautiful and so our friends at home they can if they have any paints they can do abstract art with any color any shapes and it doesn't really have to have a rhyme or reason to it right mm -hmm. that's so cool so really anyone could do this and it would be a beautiful work of art. Kira, thank you so much for sharing that with us. You're welcome. Um, I'm sure we both feel a little bit more relaxed too for the long weekend. So friends, go and paint some abstract art just like Kira. And I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Say bye, Kira. Bye.